you know, Mitchell Stark, Pat Cummins, uh, you know, Nathan Lyon for us, David Warner. He got so many names that I can rattle off, and you know, these will go down. You know, some of the great players in Australian cricket. But you don't get in a hole in one team all at once. Even guys got like Travis Head batting beautifully at the moment. I think it's a pretty good Australian team. It's a pretty cool Australian team to watch, to be honest. And I think the same applies to the Pakistani team. You got Shane Shah, um, you know, you got Baba Azam. You got these big names coming out. And I think it's going to be very competitive. I really do. Three Test matches. I reckon it's going to be some three good Test matches. So I think that's why the fans are going to come out and watch because it's going to be really cool. I think Shane Shah and Mitchell Stark are both very fast bowlers. They get up 145, 150, maybe not 160. But the thing they have is they also swing the ball. Starkey, we know, swings the new ball. And Shane Shah has got one of the best wrists in the world. He definitely swings the ball. When you guys, when you got guys doing that at 145 kilometers an hour, in Australian conditions, you're gonna get days like this where it's overcast too. It's tough work for us openers. That's, that's, that's why it's the hardest job in the game. So it's what you revel for. It's what you love playing against. If you can perform and succeed against players like those, um, you know you've done well. Baba Azam is one of the best batsmen in the world in all three formats of the game. Steve Smith, in my opinion, is the greatest bat test batsman of our era. So when you have those two together playing against each other, and it's like when Verat comes over, same thing. You're matching Steve Smith with Verat, you're matching Steve Smith with Baba. And I think one of the great things about Baba is he performs not only in Pakistan, but he actually does really well in Australian conditions too. He scored hundreds out here when he's come in the past, um, particularly in one day cricket and guys that can adapt to the Australian condition, particularly from the subcontinent. A little bit of bounce, always a little bit different for the subcontinent cricketers. They're the contest you want to see. I and mean, when you've got two big dogs going at it, there's nothing better. It's like the epitome of spirit of cricket, isn't it? The way it all happened. They they were at each other the, you know, during a test match and then even when Warner got dismissed, it wasn't no hard feelings, it was a bit of pat and it was pretty cool to watch. Even that whole series was one of the great series, I thought, not only what what was happening on the field, but what was happening off the field too. Um, even after the test match finished, uh, it was a pretty special series and that's what you want. I think that's what Australians love. You know, whether it's test match cricket, or you're playing, watching a park cricket, you play hard, but after the game's over, you're all good, you're all mates off the field. And I think that's what was really cool to be a part of.